Hi everyone, welcome to the day after the 4th of July. I hope everyone had a really good 4th of July and got to celebrate in whatever way does not promote chaos or fires in any place in the United States. So I hope everyone was safe and solid and secure and stable. Um, today, if you add all the numbers together, you get the number 16. And if you add the one and the six together, you get the number seven. The number seven is about boundaries, strategies, structures. You've heard me say this many, many times. It's the litigator. It is the architect. It is the city planner. It is the person who looks at long-term uh, challenges and how to get there and how to put the steps together in order to get there. Obviously, at the moment, we have a lot of steps that we have to put together in order to create a functional society with less hate, less aggravation, and less frustration. Um, so uh, this number is about either having boundaries or being a person that is a my way or the highway kind of person. And obviously the latter um, is not the best to be constructive for long-term success because no matter what, we all live on this planet together, and no matter what, we all have to work together, and that means work together with nature, too, not just, you know, with other human beings, but if you can't get along with yourself, and then for sure you can't get along with people in your family, then you for sure probably have a hard time getting along with everybody else in the world, and um, we have to figure out how to expand our perceptual bubble to be more inclusive rather than exclusive. Um, and it's it's a skill that can be learned, but it, it requires an open mind, it requires travel, it requires adventure, it requires experiences, um, it requires you doing things that are a stretch and out of your established norm. So the number seven is about, like I said, boundaries or my way or the highway. And sometimes when somebody is doing a my way or the highway, <laughs> you have to lower the boom and have very strong boundaries, which is the number seven. We need strong boundaries around lies and manipulation and deception that has the intent to confuse and do harm. Boundaries are supposed to be aligned with your personal values, but right now it is so obvious that this is not presently completely true. Humanity loves a certain type of drama. Um, and fear is sort of the number one drama that everyone likes to get into. And that desire to feel alive and at the edge and afraid for some feels more awake. Um, they feel vitally alive. They feel like they have a mission, a purpose, and a cause. But oftentimes those people that um, do that and operate from the place of fear, it's because they really haven't had one. You know, they, they haven't had a real true mission and cause that they conquered and they went for and they learned from the consequences. And so sometimes people jump on other people's bandwagons, um, which may or may not be authentically true for you. And if it's not authentically true for you, um, it oftentimes will hit you with some consequences. Um, so um, I, 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 I totally understand <laughs> in the personal growth workshop reality that um, peak experiences are exciting, enlivening, enthusiastic, vibrant. They're also addictive and they're also transparent and they're also shallow. Um, and so while you have to learn to go deeper than the obvious, um, you know, that's one of the challenges that we're having at this time, because when other people impose fear upon you with conscious intention to manipulate you and to turn you into a puppet for their own aim, that is incredibly cruel, heartless, and destroys a sacred trust. Um, that is why the number seven is so important to learn. Um, as Donald Rumsfeld quoted, there are things that we know. There are things that we know we don't know, and there are things that we don't know we don't know, <laughs> okay? The problem right now is, is that there's so much going on in this chaotic world that a large group of people pretend to know when they really don't know what they don't know. 
information that is designed to make you react and become a total tool for the powerful is not really grounded in fact or knowing. That should be pretty obvious at this point. And if anybody read a history book like once, you should know that that is how this goes like over and over and over again. It's like, when will humanity like stop falling for this kind of pattern? So knowing, true knowing comes from research and objectivity and analyzing certain situations. Um, that is what the number seven is all about. It's, it's a rational, cognitive, left-brained, objective ability to view a situation without any emotional uh, enrollment. Um, and when you do that, I mean, when I do that and I look at somebody, I'm like, wow, they are incredibly attached to that perception and that belief system. Wow, they're incredibly... Um, they, they totally believe what they are saying. It's not true, but they completely believe it. So now I have to deal with them because they completely believe it. So, you know, it's, it's a tricky thing, you know, so we need to learn to have a calmer, less reactive, objective left brain. Um, we need to stop operating from an immature childish, selfish, my way or the highway place of our emotional body. Um, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, but let's just say that is a goal that we could go for. And, you know, this number seven is all about, you know, learning to research truth. And um, we are at risk of losing our ability to objectively observe and appropriately respond. And that is an extremely dangerous place for any powerful society to stay in for very long. Okay, astrology for today. Um, I will probably go into this more in depth, but <laughs> I always do these a day ahead, right? So I did, um, I did this on the 4th of July and it's for the 5th of July. Um, but last night, so the night of the third going into the fourth, I was absolutely completely unable to sleep, which I, just so you know, I am a sleeper. It's like one of my best things. <laughs> and um, so when I can't sleep, it's really startling. And it was just this onslaught of psychic bombardment of energy and people and voices and fears and concerns and fortunately in the dream I was like oh my gosh would everybody just calm down like I I recognized it wasn't my voice I recognized that it wasn't me I recognized it was this you know conglomerate of uh, a massive telepathic agreement field um, of energy that is hitting the planet right now but it was noisy last night and like I've said before like eclipses sometimes hit me like a whammy and and this one is definitely hitting me like a whammy so Believe it or not, I haven't had any sleep. <laughs> so um, I am, you know, trying to figure out how to get some sleep tonight and um, and hopefully being a little bit more refreshed tomorrow. Um, and I would like to dive further into what this eclipse really means on a lot of levels. But honestly, I was just too exhausted. So I, it was a whole step to just get this out today <laughs> because I haven't slept all day. Uh, or all night, I should say, and then I've been awake all day. So um, this is a short and sweet version. I'll probably do something more extensive um, tomorrow and then try and put it out tomorrow. But, you know, just give me some wiggle room here. <laughs> so um, I will, I personally am going to be really happy to get this eclipse out of the way. And um, so, you know, probably some of you feel that same way too. I'm sure I'm not the only one. And um, this full moon eclipse is in Capricorn and it's going to make the emotions stronger than normal. Ugh. <laughs> and this new normal is particularly hard. Um, this eclipse has a lot of drama around it. It is a massive cosmic shift into the major changes being reflected on so many levels. This is the final segment of the eclipse cycle in Cancer Capricorn. This one wants to clear the decks of old energy that is antiquated and out of touch with reality. We are being asked to look closely at what you really need and what you are lacking. You change what you want in the face of nurturance and accountability. Notice how I said that. You change what you want in the face of nurturance and accountability. So notice that when you get what you need, when you get the level of nurturing that you really, really need, 
um, then all of a sudden, you know, what you want also changes. Um, it's amazing how many people never got heard. And I feel really bad for them. I do. And these are the people that are the loudest and are beating the biggest drums and are screaming at people because somehow they feel not heard. But that is their emotional wound, usually from their childhood. And it usually has nothing to do with you. Um, and so it's important not to react like it is about you. So the flaws in this reality structures are becoming more and more obvious and you see the emotionally driven reactive sides of yourself and others and know that today is an intense day on many levels so stay calm stay connected to others with an open heart um, give to those needing your help selflessly because we need each other um, we need to reclaim our personal heart our national heart and our global heart i mean you know, in, in yoga, we talk about there's five levels of the heart chakra. And, you know, the first one is just this little selfish me, 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 me thing. And, you know, and then there's this bigger heart that you step into. And then, you know, there's this heart that you have that's in relationship to your family and those you love. And then there's a national heart, you know, that this is. And then there's a global heart that's that's much, much bigger than all of it. And. Uh, we need expansion of heart energy rather than all this like me, my, my stuff. Okay. Uh, I hope we find that quickly. <laughs> I, may it stop this process that is suffocating hope and the American dream. Now, my quote for today, of course, is the longer version of Donald Rumsfeld's uh, quote. He said, there are known knowns. These things are, these are things we know that we know. There are known unknowns. That is to say, there are things that we know we don't know. But there are also unknown unknowns. There are things that we don't know we don't know. There you go. Okay. Um, be prepared for a small rant on my blog. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just, uh, you know, and I know it's probably a rant just because of the eclipse energy and all of this. Um, so there is a level of spiritual arrogance that comes out of people's mouths that is shocking to behold right now under this pandemic. Perfectly sane people on the outside say some of the oddest things from their own slant and obvious arrogance, uh, uh, obvious arrogance and ignorance. And they say them with such conviction and pride, it's astounding. I know the tide would turn if those very same people tried to say that very same thing to a doctor or a nurse right now. And they don't do it because they know they're wrong. And that's why they go off on social media and they tout all this stuff, but they're not talking to doctors and nurses. And I would love for them to try. I'd love to see them try. Go talk to a doctor or nurse. Tell, see what you think. Um, I would love to watch that exhausted doctor or nurse land on them in such a way that they have never been confronted. A fury fired from medical staff that is going above and beyond the call of duty to save lives, even the lives of the stupid careless people. Our doctors and nurses and hospital staff are beyond tired. They are dealing with a daily stress that is unfair to place on one group of individuals. The toll is too high, and that cost to them is exhaustion, illness, discomfort, and death. I know. My sister is a doctor on those front lines. She was given one, I say one, N95 mask to work endless hours in a hospital with COVID-19 children. That mask was the only one she is being given. And they're supposed to be disposable. And we live in supposedly the wealthiest country in the world. Because of, I knew this was coming last year, and I said this the other day, I started buying N95 masks before anyone, and I originally had about like 30-ish of them. And, you know, I didn't even know what I was doing. I'm like, why am I buying N95 masks? Like, what, what am I doing? And I've given many away to those needing them, such as the elderly or my friends and my family. But I just gave a bunch to my own sister. And this is insane. She literally said to me, you have N95 masks? And I said, yeah. I said, I've got 
you know, I had 30 of them. I probably don't have that now, but, you know, I, I can I can give you a bunch. And, and she was just stunned, you know, and, and she was like, God, you know, having a psychic sister is great and it's a pain in my ass. And, and she said, why didn't you tell me this before? I'm like, well, because I assumed that your clinic and the hospital would be providing appropriate gear, but no. Okay. So it's insane that the hospitals do not have the funding to appropriately protect their own staff. What are we coming to? This is insane. Let's be clear here. She's watching people and children die. I don't care what all of these people out there are saying. There are people dying. And two of her nurses have the disease, meaning that she is also exposed. But guess what? She has to still work because everyone is on call and everyone is exhausted. And she told me flat out, Suzanne, I might die because of this. And you have to take care of mom. And I have to stay away from mom. So you are in charge. And that's a really strong statement. She's divided her house and separated herself from her husband to protect him. Certain people need to get it through their head that some people have genes that make them more vulnerable and health conditions that also put them at higher risk. And the lack of respect that is shown to those people at risk is shocking, embarrassing, and shows a level of ignorance and meanness that is horrifying. It must be called out and not allowed to continue. The lack of respect to the doctors, nurses, and hospital staff is devastating and demoralizing. Why can't people respect the jobs that these doctors and nurses were trained for and entrusted to do? Why can't some people just respect the choices of others? Now, let me be clear. I don't care if you wear a mask or not. But don't put others in jeopardy by yelling in their face without one, without one, because you have a so much spiritual arrogance that you believe either that you will not get it, or the whole thing is a hoax, or some other conspiracy theory that you have justified in your mind. Let's get real. People are getting sick and dying, and that's the truth. I don't even care about the damn numbers. The truth is the hospitals are getting overwhelmed. I know, my sister is on the front lines. And for those of you that don't believe that, just go talk to a doctor or nurse and let them give you a strong dose of reality and let them knock some sense into those that hold their superiority so strongly. Viruses stay in the body for a long time, sometimes forever. And it's just the immune system that gets better at handling it or not. But a stressor can set the virus off again. Chicken pox can come back decades later as shingles. Um, chronic fatigue syndrome is caused by a virus, you know, a, fibro, a, a, a virus, an Epstein-Barr virus that lives in the liver. And when the person stresses, it'll come back up again. And some people never get over the secondary disease called fibromyalgia. I know I have friends that have died from have not being able to recover from having that. So herpes can come back throughout a person's life on and again, off again, on again, off again. HIV is a virus that compromises the immune system and makes the person more susceptible to other illnesses that can kill them. COVID-19 is a virus. It is already clear that you can get it more than once. And I know people who continue to show symptoms for months after an infection and no one completely knows how this will impact those infected people in the future. But I am sure we're going to find out. Okay, end of rant. Sorry.